In this video, I'm going to talk about a common error that people make when they're calculating the mode. So this is the kind of situation where it crops up. Um, and I'm going to ask you to think we're going to calculate the mode of the set of data represented here. So first of all, a reminder that the mode of a set is the value that occurs the most frequently. Um, or you could say like the most common number, if it's numbers. Um, and then we'll look at what this table is. So the number of siblings. Um, from 0 to 4, and the frequency. All right, so I'll pause just for a second here, and I want you to think, or even you pause the video, and just think, what do I think the mode of this is? Okay, if that wasn't enough time, pause it to think for longer. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the mode is not 6. Okay, so here's why people would think it can be 6. Um, they think They look at this, and they think 6, 8, 6. 0, 2. Oh, I have two sixes. Alright. Um, so we have to be really careful when we're using this kind of representation of data. This is a really helpful thing to do. If you ask, I think there's 22 people asked here, if you ask them all how many siblings there are and then you write it down, you'll have a big jumble of numbers. So it's really useful to organize it like this. But then if we're going to find the mean from this table, we really need to think hard about what it means. The mean, the, sorry, I said the mean, I meant the mode. The, the same would be true if you're finding the mean. You have to think hard. So we're looking for the mode. So what we have here is six people who said that they have zero siblings. And eight people who said that they have one sibling. And six people who said they had two. And zero who said they had three. And two who said they had four siblings. So the most common number of siblings... The most common uh, values of what our original data set was, is 1. Just to explain that a slightly different way, I'm going to go from this frequency table back to sort of just a list of numbers. So we have six zeros, and then we have eight ones. And then we have six twos. And then no threes, but we have two fours. All right, so this was our original list. So what we're looking for is the number that occurs the most often in this list. And there are six zeros, which we knew, and eight ones, which we knew, and so on. So the number that occurs the most often is one. So the mode is 1. And even we could write 1 sibling. All right, so if you're calculating the mode from um, a chart like this or some kind of diagram, really think hard. What is this representing? Make sure you read the titles. Um, and if it's helpful, if you find that you're just not quite confident, you can go back to take this data and write yourself out a list of data of each individual data set, and that'll help you clarify. Okay, good luck.